I was speaking to a um, a shliach that's very out there, connecting with people, and he he made wonderful connections with Jews and Gentiles. And after a while, he was so to speak self-taught. He was self-taught about look at this guy right here. He was self-taught about. about that it's not just a particular religion that you're, you know, you're out there, you're shlichus, it's Judaism, so to speak. But it's not just particular Judaism, it's spirituality. So if he meets someone that's a Gentile, but spiritual also, is, for example, I didn't speak to him, but Moshe Lagarelik was also in Europe. He was uh, for a while. He had people who were, a lot of shluchim have goyim coming. And even in Russia, far in Siberia, I saw a man, he looked like Rasputin. He came in a long beard, sat in the corner, and the shliach, which was a very chassidish guy, said, I don't talk to him much, but he comes and he feels uh, comfort and warmth. That's a word I learned from the reform. The reform said, uh, and, uh, and some, you know, they spoke about the goal of people feeling comfort and warmth. And that was a, a person in uh, the city of Chelyabinsk, in the Ural Mountains, uh, Siberia. And he comes to shul and he doesn't speak Yiddish. He, does, he stands in the corner with a long beard. None of the Jews have beards, so he's got the beard. And I asked the shliach, who is that guy? Very quiet in the corner. He says, I don't know. He's probably, you know, I don't know the word, but he's not Jewish. So the boys uh, doing the Hanukkah work, they ask, excuse me, are you Jewish? And then the guy's like half Jewish. So he goes, which half? So he goes, my father. His name is Fabian Lukowitz. Uh, he's a photographer. And the boy's response is, Oh, okay, have a nice day. Because really, that's his mission. His mission is he's out there looking for Jews. Right? So, and it was another guy, very Hasidic guy. He was also like that in, in uh, Florence, Italy. We were riding an electric car and he was like, Excuse me, are you Jewish? And if you're Jewish, even if you're secular and you have no belief or you share nothing in common, they know that they could put fill-in on you and something magical or spiritual happens and he gets credit, you get credit, or if even if, so, something towards some type of goal happens. So the shliach, who I don't mention because it was a private conversation, but it was very eye-opening, he says to me, the boys go out with the little of an esnig in Brooklyn in Park Slope, they meet people, and they meet someone who's not Jewish and then they say, um, okay, have a nice day, whatever. No conversation, nothing happening. And he says, what an opportunity for spirituality, wasted. But these boys are not, they're not spiritual seekers. They're not looking to, they are looking to make friends, but the, they, but by them, they think the condition is that the Gvir and that person, that long lasting friendship with people who could be benefactors for them, like your Mephzayim route, you keep in touch with people, especially if you're lucky and these people are, can be very helpful and the relationship grows and they grow and they become, you know, you go to them and you, you have bigger needs and they have bigger, uh, you grow and they grow and they help you uh, in, in, in bigger in bigger projects, right? But they don't see it as, uh, as a as a, a, a as a gentile, as a potential friend, and as def, as a potential benefactor, but the reality is is that you have to find the people who have something with you in common. They're not going to be people who you consider. What a, first of all, there's ethnic Jews, but then you consider halachic Jews who go by the mother. According to halacha, Ikar halacha, I don't think there is a concept of someone who's just born Jewish. There uh, there's different people who uh, study halacha, and uh, they're not poskim just answering questions and getting away with it by not giving a real answer. These are people who study the history of Allah and they say, no, there's a concept. There is initiation. If you convert out to a different faith and you have to convert back. And none of these Bacham know this concept. The people, the Anusim, there were people who converted back and forth three, four times. But let's say even once, the Spinoza family, when they came to Amsterdam, they converted back to Judaism. And then you have... Um, I'm actually might bump into the Bachram who are doing the Hanukkah Mifzayim right now. So I might be able to roll down the window or stop the car and say hi to them. So the guy Fabian, he does uh, he uh, does videos very intimately. I'll explain to you what he does. He does Santa Monica close-up. 
things that happen. He did a Trump rally once, which is very rare because there's not a lot of Trump supporters here, at least not that we know of, right? So it reflects the zeitgeist of the area. Um, if there are, they're quiet. So he did once, and then some people went in the comments and like, why do you do that? And he's like, I'm just a reporter. I'm just reporting that there was a group of people marching for Trump on Santa Monica Beach, which is rare, but, you know, he covered it. And then you have... Um, so he, he covers that, but he also covers Rabbi Isaac Levitansky, who he has a good relationship with. And Rabbi Isaac is like a guy that's doing a, he's like a, a chassidish guy for bringing in 770. Like, he's not, you can't say he's adopting to Santa Monica, but at the same time, you have Leymah Tolshevsky, who's a very chassidish guy, and he also connects very well with people, and it's not about the beard or his hat has to be new. One guy wanted to buy him a new hat. This guy, Randy Gutman, he says, I want to buy him a new hat. Well, you know that guy? And I'm like, yeah, he lives there. He's our shliach. And he lives in New York, but he was visiting. He met him in Malibu, I think. So I said, I don't know if he wants a new hat. I don't know if he wants to look polished. I don't know if that's his goal. Maybe he doesn't even have a feel for it. He doesn't have a style sense. He doesn't have an interest in it. He's not looking to look sharp and fresh. Some people like to look sharp and fresh sometimes. Some people like to sh look sharp and fresh always. You know those guys with the cufflinks in yeshiva. But then there's some guys who are, they're just not interested. And it, and there's a certain feel for that because then they're, they're folksy people. Then if they're not fancy or they don't have their fancy appearance and look, so then they, they become um, uh, um, very approachable. So there's a whole, um, you know, it has a whole special uh, role that it plays. But more than that, uh, Chaim Tolshevsky, um, a father came with his daughter and I knew the family and I was like, wow, are they Jewish? They came to his Hanukkah lighting. And then I'm like, wait a minute, the daughter, I know the family, she goes to Bible school after school. So they're not, they're not just secular, they're actually religious. I would guess Christian, because where are we? We're in America. What are the odds? Check this guy on the skateboard crossing the, it's going past the freeway. I do the same thing. Um, I have my skateboard in the trunk. Um, and And then I asked, so I said hi to the guy. Uh, hi, how are you, Mike? And then uh, and his daughter is having a fun time. She's singing dreidel. She's making dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. And then they're doing some latkes. And then the minute, and I said, well, how do you? How do you? Is he Jewish? I didn't ask because I knew I don't ask. I don't assume anything until I'm told. I don't assume anything. The guy's Adam and Ira lighting. Don't with his daughter. What are the odds? He must be. So the Shliach says, no, I went to the uh, spirit assembly, which is something at the at the school, at the public school. So he came with a little and I said, he was outside. And I wasn't there, but I was told that there was a guy, there's a rabbi here, I was told. And I was like, oh, so I sent a message to the rabbi. Somebody told me, they saw you with the kapat that was yantif, or yantif or chalamay. And he tells me, yeah, that's the guy, this Mike, who's not Jewish, took the little and I said, went inside the school and started asking people if they're Jewish if they want to make a blessing on the lulav and I'm like wow look at this and I said it's not just a story of Mike it's a story of the shliach the shliach he's a cool dude he's a chevraman because he he made he's the guy that makes such a connection with people and and that's serving it's serving even the most chassidish guy would agree of the, it's called the Toyeles, the, 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 um, the, the purpose in the connection to Gentiles. I'm not here to try to sell you on Gentiles. I don't give what you want to believe. It's your life. You want to waste it? You could waste it. I don't care. It doesn't bother me because I, I'm not on a spiritual journey anyway. So for me, it's, it's not even about spiritual. I'm not, I'm not a spiritual guy that wants to connect to other spiritual people. I'm not. If they're around, I try to tolerate it. I hope it's the cool spiritual people, not the spiritual people who get and fall into uh, some nonsense, you know, the, the, the palpable nonsense. But, uh, so go back to the Bachar. Bachar meets the guy who takes a video of, of, of Isaac lighting the Menorah and he goes, and the Rebbe is all gesund sein, and he, he, as, if he's, as if he's in a Fabrengen in 770, rather than, uh, and he's, maybe he's doing a perfect mix, right? Because is he connecting to the Santa Monica crowd or not? That's the guy. He connects with Isaac Levitansky, and Isaac Levitansky is is the, the guy that's fresh out of the Fabrengi. 
But the Bacha doesn't know about this concept. So he asks him, are you Jewish? And it happened right over here, the story. Boom.